Head tracking is pretty important for Star Citizen. I personally use Toby because it's easy to set up. I am not here to debate whether one is better than the other. Any one of them will do, whether it's track IR or anything else. No, I'm not a shill. I'm not a corporate sponsor, none of that garbage. Just here to make a video to help you guys out because this has been requested. So the first thing you're gonna do here is if you have Toby, is you're gonna go to your options menu. You're gonna go over to comms, FOIP, and head tracking. You're gonna scroll down, and by default, the head tracking general source will be disabled. We're going to enable it to Toby. So once you do that, it's going to work. Now, this little red thing here on the screen, this is my eye tracking. You don't actually see this in game, just so you guys know. So don't worry about that. The next thing you wanna do is go over to key bindings, down to advanced controls customization. You're gonna scroll down until you find VoIP, FOIP, and head tracking. And you're gonna look at this one key bind here, enable head tracking toggle. By default, it's numpad that. I personally have started to rebind it to caps lock. This is totally optional. You don't need to do this. So every time you get to the ship, you're gonna have to activate your head tracking. Let me show you. So right now, moving my head, you can see that here, nothing's happening because it's not enabled. Now if I hit caps lock, suddenly it's enabled and I can move it around. And if I want to turn it off and recenter, I just hit caps lock again and it acts as if I don't have it. I actually think that this is very useful because you don't always want head tracking or maybe you don't always want head tracking. It's totally fine to play either way. If you don't want to press another button, which is totally understandable, you can go ahead and leave it on and just fly with it on at all times. But keep in mind, if it does bug out or acts kind of weird, you are going to want to have this keybind set up so you can reset it and recalibrate it. So sometimes you get stuck like this and you're like, oh no, I can't do anything. It's, it's being really weird. Hit that button, it fixed it, hit it again, and now you go back to head tracking. So this is also useful for troubleshooting, which you will have to do if you play Star Citizen. So we're gonna go back to the comms, FOIP, and head tracking tab here in the options menu. There's a lot of options here. You don't have to worry about a lot of them, but there are some that I disable and change. The first one that I change all the time is head tracking general use position offset and cockpits. I find this to be very annoying. Let me show you what it does. So we have head tracking on, we're moving our head. Very cool, right? What if you shift in your chair? It does this, it, it sort of simulates you're moving in you know, the, the pilot seat. And that's kind of cool and immersive, I guess. But if you're doing any kind of dog fighting, this is actually really annoying. And it gets really bad when you're looking around or moving and it it's not good. So I always go ahead and I disable this. So now I'm moving my whole body and it's a nice steady head tracking. So make sure you turn that off, that's my suggestion. The rest of the stuff I usually leave by default. It doesn't really pay to mess around with these too much. However, another one I disable is head tracking general enable roll in seats. I turn that off, but let me show you what it does. It's very similar to what I just showed you. So if it's on, you kind of roll a bit and it's very subtle, but you notice it. Not very, again, me personally, very disorienting. I don't like it, so I turn it off. And now we're doing the same thing. We're trying to roll and we're not rolling. So we have a nice, steady head track. Another setting that I like to disable this on by default is head tracking Toby position offset based on rotation. This is another one of those settings where if you have it enabled, it's giving you that sim effect. And if you move or fidget a little bit, it's going to move your camera in ways that I don't like. So for this one, it's very subtle and you might not even notice it. So if you're looking off to the side, it's very subtle. It's, it, trust me, it's subtle. Go back into the settings, turn this crap off. And now I'm moving back and forth and you see it's, it's not doing whatever it was doing before there. It's a lot more stable in its movement. All right, so here's a setting that people really love to shill. They think makes this thing really good. I always turn it off, but I'm going to demonstrate to you what it is, and it's gaze-based target locking. So we have a ship down there, and we're going to try and lock onto it. So I look at it, I lock on, that's really cool. And you see this missile lock happening, you're like, whoa, that's great, because I can just look at it and lock the missiles on. Now, 
in a dogfight or you're just flying around, your eyes are going to be darting all over the screen. So watch what happens if you look at something else. But watch the lock. You see how it's losing the lock? So every time you look away to go check something else or look down or look, your lock is going to keep dropping. This is one of those things that sounds really cool on paper, but in practice it's actually pretty crap. So you go back on our options. We go to head tracking, Toby, gaze based target selection. Turn it off. We go back to Toby, head tracking, gaze based missile lock. Also, turn it off. Now, if you like both of those settings, you know, leave it on. But that's personally, I don't find it that useful. And I find the extra problems that it causes in a fight to be not worth having on. So, yeah, you could argue that this might be useful for targeting things by looking at them. I prefer to do it the old-fashioned way. The next one is Head Tracking Toby FPS Input Mix. If you move it all the way to the left, it's going to track your eyes more than your head. It's actually not going to track your head at all. If you move it all the way to the right, it's going to ignore your eyes and only track your head. I personally leave this at the right. Okay, I do not want it tracking my eyes. Your eyes are going to always dart all over. So like, let's, you know, if you're flying, you're not just moving your head. You're looking at things, your eyes are always looking around. And when you put that little bit of eye movement in there as well, I find that it becomes very jittery and very uncomfortable to fly with. So again, head tracking Toby FPS, move it all the way to the right at 1.0. All this FPS stuff, don't touch it. Make sure Toby's completely disabled for FPS combat, because that is absolutely terrible all this stuff over here I don't really touch it I've never had a reason to touch it I've never really felt like the default settings are bad but you can experiment with this if you want so this one might be important for you guys it's these three here head tracking uh, sensitivity yaw pitch and roll what these are is sensitivity essentially it's how much you have to move your head for the head tractor to activate for me, again, default works fine, but if you want it to be a bit more responsive, you can make it more sensitive. If you want it to be less sensitive, then, well, make it less sensitive, right? It's pretty self-explanatory. Now, there's a lot of settings in here that I'm not covering, because quite frankly, guys, there's no reason to. I, I don't like to overcomplicate these videos, and a lot of this stuff here is just not necessary. If you're playing this game for a sim experience and you want the the head movement and you want the cockpit movement and you want all that stuff then i'm probably not the channel to get information from i have mine set up purely as a tool to help me in pvp purely as a way to improve my skill at fighting other players and winning engagements so i am disabling a lot of the stuff that makes it more immersive Anyway, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please ask down in the comments, and I will make sure to answer them. And again, finally, no, I'm not a Toby shill. Any head tracking works. This just happens to be the one I have.